pathetic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, perfect. <laughs> My mouth is so much prettier than yours, no matter how fat it is. Don't worry, honey. Something so personal about eating with your hands. Looks delicious and fresh. How do you think? Oh, wow. Was my perfect wife? My perfect husband. I'm too short. No problem. It's okay, honey. <laughs> Public kiss. <laughs> Thank you, honey. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everybody. What is a king without what is a queen without her king? Well, I still have a king, but he just has a headache right now. He's gonna moderate comments, be in the chat and things, but doesn't feel too well. So I know that like doing YouTube this much is new for him and it's just like maybe, you know, sometimes people just don't feel too well and so yeah, so I'm just here with you guys alone for today. No, I can't change the lighting, flop air, you'll have to deal with it. I won't fiddle with my hijab, I'll, I promise. Not too as much anyway, I'll try not to. Brooke, how are you here if I blocked you? Maybe I blocked you. You can be annoying a little bit sometimes. No, I'm kidding. Yeah, I don't know. I just thought if you guys want to ask me any questions, <laughs> I can try to answer. You want to know why it was deleted? So we edited out um, part of the video um, for a mix of like Islamic law and uh, privacy reasons. So um, again, a, you know, different culture. I think at the time also when I was editing that part, solid just kind of like I forgot to ed edit that out thinking that I could just leave it in. And then, you know, um, I think we decided that it's better. What are you talking about? Nobody's requiring me to lose weight. So that's another thing. So let's talk about that, requiring me to lose weight. So so people can badger me for how many, like when I was on my weight loss journey, when I was the first started YouTube, for so many years, I had reaction channels on my, you know, on my case about, well, this is why you'll never lose weight. Remember that Keanu Doherty video? This is, this YouTuber will never lose weight. Well, your video didn't age well, did it? Cause I did lose 70 pounds and I kept it off. Sorry to be smug, <laughs> but I just don't like people who just make assumptions on people's lives. Like it's just like, you know, that people can't change. I don't like this attitude. I just can't stand it. Whenever I would call that fat shaming, they would be like, it's concern. So now that I have somebody in my life who wants me in their life for as long as possible and me being morbidly obese, that's not gonna happen. Now that I have someone in my life who's concerned about my weight, out of love and not out of disgust it's um it's a problem it's him fat shaming me do you see the 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 weird mentality here so no um he doesn't bug me on a regular basis or at all bug me to lose weight he doesn't say you have to lose weight for the you know it's my mom says the same thing to me you know my family's been concerned about my weight in the same way Salah is when you love somebody, you care about them and you want them around as long as possible. And again, more being morbidly obese, I've always been a confident person, but when it comes to health, that's a different matter, right? So let me see. Okay, um, Amber Lynn. Okay, I'm not going to, to address Amber Lynn's weight because it's not my business. She does put it online. So I guess all I can say is I know the struggle. So my, if, my advice, like how I stopped binge eating is to like, because I still overeat sometimes, so I don't want to say, I, but actual binge eating, I don't binge anymore. Like actually just sit and have binge sessions. So I guess I just kind of just, honestly, what sparked that was like when I started that intuitive eating thing. So I would suggest just reading the intuitive eating book, but I don't know, that's that's what I would say. When you get back home, do you plan on keeping edibles out of your life? Yes. <laughs> I don't want to go back to a self-destructive behavior at all and undo all of the progress that I've, I've suffered through <laughs> mentally. It's not like suffering, but any, Big changes are tough for sure, for sure. But then whenever I get through things that I do that are tough, like when I was like, oh my God, 12 hour flight, how am I gonna do this? Whenever I get out the other end, I'm super like, oh my God, I did this. And then you feel like a certain natural high and you just, I don't know, it makes you wanna keep doing things. Leave Kuwait in 75 or 80 days. It must be so hard knowing I'll have to leave him. Yeah, of course, this is gonna be so hard, yeah, um, for sure. But I'm not sure like what's, how long, like what's gonna happen and everything, but timeline wise with things like that, I'll let you guys know, but yeah, of course it will be hard. Some people will just never clap for you. Yeah, I mean, I have you guys, honestly, that's all I need. I have a Beezer community. So really having you guys um, actually has made my existence on YouTube tolerable because I do have a whole community of haters probably unlike I've ever seen, like other than Amberlynn, you know? Like I have you guys, I have like, I have my own cheerleaders. So like really, I just like really just can switch off when I pay attention to the haters or not. It's harder at home to be self-disciplined. <laughs> Sometimes I wake up and I'm like, oh my God, I'm in the Middle East. <laughs> but I can actually, I can say that. I can say I've traveled to the Middle East now. I've tried, you know what I mean? So it's something that I can say I've done. You want to see the air fryer? No, 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 I don't think so. Um, is my current store at Pizza's Uber Eats? 
Probably, but I don't know. He's a, he can play for his own takeout. Um, are you okay? You look extremely uncomfortable and on edge. Yeah, I'm okay, foodie feet. It's like some things, obviously, like family and friends and cats and that. That's normal. Um, is there anything else I miss about Canada? Not really. <laughs> Do you ever miss driving and raging on the long road? No, I don't miss raging at all, actually. Sala, Nader was diff- or not- I don't even want to say his name, but he was different because you guys saw what, you know, I would tell you, like, he was abusive. There's no reason, so, like, there's no reason given so far for, like, Sal has been nothing but nice and polite to, to these people. So, you know, they don't have to like it, but they still can be respectful and just, you know, <laughs> I'm clearly happy. So, do you miss the Holy Trinity? Well, yeah, but, like, it's made me, thanks, Sam Q. Yeah, a blind person could see how rotten he was to the core, yeah. When I really, like, I still have nightmares. Like, when I think of how badly they treated me, yeah, for sure. Rotten to the core. So I don't have any, like, animosity towards Holy Trinity or anything like that. I never wanted drama with that in the first place. I'm actually just disappointed, like I am with most beezers who just take issue with something I do and leave. Like, I, you know, that's just a, not a normal thing. I guess I'm used to it. So, you know, I just found it coming in here and grilling right off the bat, like, all this stuff against him like he's my husband you know so my my husband comes before like you know people on the internet no matter like i know you guys have been here a long time they didn't do anything wrong i mean they're just not here like for whatever their own reasons are like i don't know why people are asking me what i did to them i didn't do anything i got married and i'm with somebody that they were like asking you know questions that i didn't want to answer and so <laughs> and i mean i haven't seen pc since i started this journey so for me like supportive beezers are like if you're going to be supportive, like, then be supportive through every phase. I don't like fair weather people in my life. I don't like that. You guys know that. My channel's about my life, so that's going to be me living it, regardless of your opinion. They dropped, stopped joining our chats. They were done. Okay, well, good for them, chef first. Again, what's your point? Thanks for the super chat. I don't care. If you're asking where my loyalty is, where is yours? Where was PC when I started this journey? Never in my chats. That's, I don't like fair weather people. Again, just because somebody, like, likes somebody who's overweight, like, the majority of the world is overweight. It's 2022. Get with the times. Like, why do people still have issue with p people with different forms of bodies? Like, why shame someone for their body, for their gaming chair, for their corner of their house? Are you able to go out for walks with us without Sala, or is that not allowed? Um, no, it's not advised to go out walking alone if you're a woman here. <laughs> Let's say you guys were a creator. <clears throat> and even though you have, even though, like, you take the time, you're excited to, like, bring your audience, like, a, a vlog or whatever. And then the minute you upload it, maybe like 20 minutes later, you have like so many people taking your video that you worked hard yourself to edit and put together. You did, you went out in life and lived life. And then you have all of these cruds in the basement somewhere, like wherever they live, just taking all your stuff. Like they don't have to do any work. They just sit there and go, oh. But that's another couple that gets a lot of like shame and stuff and i just i just don't even watch it because like to me their life is depressing shani and rev like i i, I really wish them that i really hope that god blesses them in some way because they seem like a really lost couple and i get depressed like i hate negativity i hate people beating ganging i hate when people gang up on like one people they're already like down on their luck they're already they already have a lot of issues especially mental health issues if that's not obvious to you you need glasses and not and figurative glasses so, like, why keep beating up on these people? Like, you know, just to, like, just leave them alone. Ugh. You're not happy now. You weren't happy at home. You're not happy now either. You haven't really changed and people don't like liars. Okay, so how do you know that I'm not happy now? Like, you don't know how I'm feeling. So, yes, I am very happy. A lot happier. It's not that I'm, always, like, totally miserable at home. It's just that I was, like, avoiding life and dealing with my problems. And now I've done so much progress, like behind the scenes. Did I convert to Islam? So I've been on such a spiritual journey. Like I've had so many like awakenings since then. It's still evolving. So like I've been confirmed a Christian, but I'm, yeah, <laughs> sort of. But I don't really talk about my personal religious beliefs right now. But so you guys have not seen like this place. You are just assuming it's really small, but um no, it's fine. It's very comfortable here. When did I ever say that um, I was coming to live in luxury or that Sala was a rich millionaire? Like, you know, so for Mr. Whiny Pants to sit there and be like, I, I don't know how people can stand his content, Zachary. It's like, oh, like, what is this? A room? Like, uh, like who, who cares? Like, who cares? Who used my last say? I wish you peace in your heart, Beezer. I wish you all Beezers. Okay, Aunt Janet, take care. 
have you ever seen what your past beezers are saying? It's awful. And they are running you into the ground on reaction channels. It's ridiculous. I don't, I've learned to like detach from people in a way it's sad, but, and I send the cat's voice notes. I miss them, <laughs> but I will see them. I tell BBJ to stay alive. I know it's a morbid joke, but I have a morbid sense of humor. So he has taken care of me. Like since I've been here, yes, it's not your business, but I like, seriously, he's taken very good care of me. I'm the, if anything, I'm the one who motel sick shamed, excuse me, this woman, this thing has shamed, shames me every day and steals my content. He never did. So why shame him? Why shame his place? You know, I used to have a series called TMI, but I still have a right to my privacy. You're not entitled to it. Like I share what I want. So those TMI episodes were things from my past for a reason. You know, my life was a mess. Let's go to the Middle East. <laughs> I know people were asking about the edit. Like you guys know how it's, you hear, I, I put in the videos, you see people very conservative here. You hear the prayer in the street. It's very um, uh, Islamic. I think I didn't really understand the term secular maybe as much. Honestly, since I have a relationship with God now, my life has changed a lot. I know it sounds cheesy. Anytime people used to talk about religion to me, I would roll my eyes and be like, oh, a Jesus preacher. I've learned things from Islam, like a lot of peace and a lot of uh, different ways of thinking. And um, life is different here, but it seems like simple in a way. Like there's a lot more values, values here. People value things, um, traditions and they value peace and you know they're always every time you encounter someone here it's like assalamu alaikum like a peace be with you and it's just a totally different vibe <laughs> you'd rather cosplay happy than actually be happy well i don't think that it's up to somebody on the internet who doesn't even know me to determine my happiness right i could go to a gym i might join a gym for like a month or something um so i might weigh myself there but i do feel some uh body differences for sure i've lost weight absolutely i feel like i've wasted a lot of my life i do but like, it's like I had to waste my life to appreciate my life at the same time. Is that how you turned on P? Um, no, I didn't, Trina. Go be dramatic somewhere else with your two bucks. Bye. Well, this was fun. Let's do another one again soon. Do you guys want to ride a camel? Oh, and we're going to be going camping too. Well, I want to do a lot of things with you guys, so. I guess I'll see you guys. I'll miss you guys until I see you again. Good night, guys. Bye.